Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM and first of all apologies for my voice I have quite a big cold <laughs> so I'll be sipping on a cup of tea to make my air airways flow a little bit better but yeah so we are now halfway through the season at Skybet League 2 our aim for this season is to stay above the relegation zone. We've just been promoted and we'd like to stay in this league so that we can build our squad and, you know, um, continue to progress up the leagues slowly but surely. Now, we are currently in 18th with one game in hand in comparison to most of the other teams in the league. Um, let's just go through the rest of the season. So, as you can see here on the side on the competitions, we were knocked out in the second round for the FA Cup against Mansfield and the third round against Wolves for the Carabao Cup and in the quarter-final for the Papa John's Trophy uh, versus Birmingham. So we, we did quite well for ourselves in the cup competitions. Um, for the league, we've been struggling a little bit, but that was to be expected. As long as we stay above the relegation zone, which we have, we've always been away from the relegation zone, and then that's a big win for us. We've had better patches and worse patches. We had quite a good month in October um, where we only had a loss for the Papa John's Cup, but for the league, none. And at the moment, we're kind of just uh, finding our feet again, I suppose. Uh, for the team itself, we have now a very good team cohesion. We managed to populate some of the Yarki levels with a couple more players now as well and as far as transfers let's go through that so in um, the winter transfer window we made three changes as far as transfers so yeah we actually have four new players in our squad so let me take you through that for goalkeeping we still have the same players Kami and where is he Luke Luke has been playing more games than Kami I think oh no never mind that was just in my head but that's not true at all because Kami has 29 <laughs> um, appearances. I think because Luke was injured as well for a while, maybe that's why he lost on so many. Uh, then on the right of the fence, again, no, change, no changes. Josh and Nigel. The only news is that uh, Josh now wants to leave. So that's something we'll have to contend with in the summer. On the left side of the fence, again, no changes. In the centre of the fence, we made one change. We went and got uh, Ryan Sweeney uh, just to kind of stabilise that position a little bit. And uh, we terminated the, the loan of Morgan Dance. That wasn't my initial plan. My plan was to sell Will Sage, but he, he wouldn't go. He had a few offers that I accepted and he wouldn't leave. I don't know why, because he's complaining he... He's not getting enough playing playing time, but um, anyway, uh, he decided to remain, which is a bit odd. Uh, in the defensive midfield position, no changes. We still have Alex Lomana, who now, uh, so he's our captain, but he used to have an ambitious, an ambitious mentality. Now he has a balanced mentality. So I think the first time that I noticed a player change in mentality, which means it's possible. I've been working on that for a few players, but never actually got anywhere. But with him, I did which is nice. Um, uh, the centre midfield position, no changes. Right of attack, no changes. Left of attack, we have two brand new players. We have Mark Doyle on loan and we also have Sam Illing also on loan. Uh, we sold Jack Nolan and we demoted Jordan Harris to the end of 18s because he's still quite young. Bless him, Jordan was struggling quite a bit. Where is he now? Here he is. He's struggling. He's not great. I mean, he was okay for the time, but I already knew that this position was something was uh, something that I wanted to change in the winter uh, transfer window because we had quite weak players for that position. Now we have slightly better players. Uh, Mark Doyle is um, probably the best player out of the two now. In the attacking midfield position, the most exciting change happened. So we finally uh, were able to bring Alex McBride up from the under 18s. So he's now um, uh, in the in the senior squad. We sold Mackenzie Hunt 
who was kind of the older player that was around for that position. So the aim with this guy is uh, I have a slight plan to give him half of the season and then at the end hopefully we, we can renew his contract and keep him on and then the transfer like the the next season we might be able to kind of sell him I don't know the only issue is is, is I mean the, the original plan was just to be to give him some matches and then hopefully he'd get poached and we'd get some sort of compensation for it but because his contract is running out this summer that m might not turn out too well for us so we're gonna hope to keep him and then sell him on and then make some money off him maybe but yeah that's a quite exciting Alex McBride in the um, top of it in the top uh, team now and no changes in attack we still have um, Sapo Song and Pope Sapo Song was away for quite a long time with an injury so he's just coming back now those are all the changes now one concern is the amount of money we're hemorrhaging uh, I tried to kind of prepare the club a little bit for this by selling off some um, clauses we haven't had any more clauses coming by to sell since the last time I did this so I, we did about a million and a half of money in that way but this time around no clauses have become available but I'm hoping they will soon I think well actually let's take a look at the expenditure this season yes the youth setup youth setup is um, costing us a lot of money but that's okay because the youth setup is also the thing that potentially can give us a lot of money as well um, in the future through you know players that we can sell and also um, Um, yeah, so th players that can get poached and we get uh, um, sell, uh, sell clauses and all that, that kind of stuff. Anyway, we can just jump into a match. We're playing against Walsall, who are currently 6th, I think. Yeah. And we're going to go cautious against them. We're probably going to lose this one. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Apologies, I will be quite sniffy this episode just because this cold is blocking all of my airways. I will sip on a cup of tea. Mm. So good. And just turning down the volume just in case because you can probably hear some notifications coming through. Okay, so we are losing already. Let's make us full screen, should we? Losing already, 1 0. This might be 2 0, who knows? But I think we've done quite well for ourselves so far this season by getting f further than expected in all of the cup competitions. And we're not bottom of the league. We've never been bottom of the league. I think the lowest we've been is 20th. I don't know where this result puts us now. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, come on, let's score one. It would be nice if we scored. Like Callum Binnick all the way up to nearly the center circle so yeah I think the this strategy of producing young players within our squad is is good and we're gonna try continue that the only thing is we we sort of need some investment really oh well done here by O'Reilly we need some investment in our club however I don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon because we literally just been taken over this summer so the likelihood of us being taken over again is you know not likely we need some sort of sugar daddy or something to invest in our club i think mm. talking about money so i flagged up to the developers 
that Hereford has a little bug with it. It's, we're supposed to have a stadium sponsor, which at the start of the save, we, we do, we have a stadium sponsor. However, when the deal runs out, it doesn't renew. Um, and I flagged this up to the developer, developers in the forum. Um, and I provided like um, evidence and games and uh, all of that kind of stuff. And they went away and did their own tests. And yeah, they've they figured out there's a bug with it. They don't really know how because it's as far as the programming goes behind in the background of the game, it's supposed to renew, but it's not renewing. Even in the tests that they, that they did, um, the sponsorship did not renew for the stadium. So hopefully there'll be some sort of fix, if not in this edition of the game, in the, pr in the next edition of the game. Uh, and, and that's really useful because obviously being such a small club, any source of revenue is crucial. So having that extra money from the stadium sponsorship uh, really makes a difference. So hopefully they can fix that. Right, it is now time for the final sub, who can come off. Um, okay, so Sapo Song needs to build up some match sharpness, because he's our main striker and he's been away on injury, so I'm not going to take him out. Although I probably should, having thought of that now, his, his recommendation was only... 45 minutes and he's now been playing for five, 55 minutes so I'm gonna put in yeah I'm gonna swap some people around okay all right let's do that let's rest him a little bit so we don't risk injuring him again Let's go. It's not too bad. Three to one is not a shameful result, I don't think. Considering we're playing against Walsall. Much better team than we are. Oh, hello. Um That guy why is that guy playing in black? Oh wait, why are two of our players playing in black? What's going on? I thought that there was the the referee or something. You see that? We've got some players playing in black. And what colour is the referee? I don't know what colour the referee is. That's so confusing. I can't even see the referee. Oh, the referee is in blue. We've got four of our players playing in black now. I'm going to take a screenshot of that. I might even save the match, if I remember at the end. I'll save the match and send it to the developers. Oh no, the other guy in black is the goalkeeper for the opposite team. Okay, so three of our players are playing in black. And it's so odd. Wait, are these the subs? I think they are the subs, actually. Yeah, the sub players are playing in black. Ah. Maybe they forgot to take off their uh, bibs. Who knows? Okay. Right. Let's see if we can go ahead one more match. And again, apologies for all the sniffing. There's not much I can do about that. How are we doing in terms of fulfilling the promise? Oh, I hate it. Okay. 16 days. I don't know why he's, he keeps complaining he doesn't have enough playing time, but he certainly does. He got about 20 games already. 
I think it needs to be more balanced. Oh yeah, Kieran Tablet. I just wanted to see how much he's worth. Mm, back up again. He lost some value. Um, uh, in so after we sold the clothes, he lost some value, which made me really happy that we sold the clothes when we did, because um, uh, we would have lost money otherwise. Okay. I'm not starting enough. Um, that still not happy. He's offended. Hey, look, just calm down, okay? Actually, I do agree that he plays better. So, yeah, let's agree to that. He just been out on injury. He's been out on the on, on injury, and he was sort of on sort of the orange sort of like he's still injured but can play type thing so I haven't played him I think that's why he's been upset because he's been available to play but not playing right let's see I don't know who we're playing up against next Scunthorpe I don't know where they are so where, where are they 15th so probably a bit better than this I would say um, we might struggle a little bit but it's a bit more achievable right so let's so we're gonna play Luke uh, we're gonna bring back Jones is now in full fitness I forgot who I I forgot who I promised to give more playing my who I promised to rest I mean I can't remember who that was anymore let's bring in a youth for that one to rest Zordania map liquid with a few youth in it in this game I always like to rest players and that also gives me an opportunity to play some of the youth players because we've got quite nice youth um, we, we are doing quite well in terms of bringing out competent youth. So it gives us a chance to um, to play them. Now, I forgot, who was it that I... Did I agree to give rests to anyone? No. Okay. Nice. Let's go back to that. And let's pick out some youth to play in the left side. Probably going to be... Okay, let's play Hunter there, and we're going to play Billy there, and now let's come back to this. Zordania is going to come in, Dolan, okay, that all looks good to me. Um, he needs a rest. I'm gonna take him off. And I'm gonna bring in uh, Oh gosh, decisions. Okay, these two can stay. I'm gonna put in Hosier. And that's it, I think. Yeah, okay, I could put Pope on the bench, but nah, it's fine. Okay, let's go. I might actually go balanced with these guys, just to try it. See if we can push a little bit more with them. Oh, sorry, I just bumped the mic there. We'll try to remember to edit the bump out. <laughs> right, so um, we we kind of need at least a draw or something, because otherwise we're going to start to lose some motivation uh, within the squad. So yeah, we're definitely going to need. Also, I'm going to keep an eye on this table. <sighs> yeah, I would say we need a draw. 
paste. So, Luke, he's been playing for us. I had it in my head that he played a lot more than Cammy, but because he was injured, that's probably why the math is in Cammy's favor. Oh, we suffered one. That's not ideal. I kind of I wanted to draw this one, so hopefully we can come back from that. Uh, let's see how that affects us. Down to 21st, so that's the lowest we've ever been. We've never been 21st. Oh, come on. Oh, well done. I don't think we've had a highlight yet. Which is a bit annoying. It's all been for them. 2-0. Wow. Maybe I shouldn't have gone balanced. Maybe I should have stayed cautious. Right, I think we're going to make some changes at halftime. Right, let's see. I don't know how he's got a good rating. I think ratings for goalkeepers are still broken. Because sometimes goalkeepers do massive saves and stuff, and their rating is low. And then they concede goals in silly ways, and their rating is high. So I, just, I think ratings for goalkeepers are still broken. I, st I think they still need to work on that. But anyway, let's crack on with some changes. Uh, I'm going to do this and that. Um, Doyle is going to come in. <laughs> And let's bring in sharing. I'm just going to check on this for a moment. Yeah, okay. Right, let's go. Yeah, so I don't know if... I don't know how goalkeeping ratings are being calculated at the moment if it has anything to do with passes it wouldn't be i mean obviously they need to do good passes but surely it needs to be more tied into how well they are defending and and also i don't like it how penalties aren't counted really so you when a game goes to extra time and penalties the rating doesn't seem to take into account the performance during the penalty shootout. So I don't like that either. I think it should be included because that's, you know, it's part of the performance, it's part of the game. So it should be taken into account. Yeah, so we kind of see goalkeepers doing really good saves and it doesn't seem to affect their rating positively. And in the same respect, bad saves don't seem to affect their performance negatively either so it's a bit of a weird one I'm not really sure what they're based on okay so we managed to pull level again with a goal from Doyle and now another goal from Doyle two goals from Doyle yeah two goals from Doyle okay he's doing well for himself I guess he'll be playing in the next match again So hopefully we can keep this draw. That would be nice. Nice pressure there from Doyle as well. He's, even though he's not a defensive player. But he's put quite, uh, some nice pressure on the attack there. Okay, what would be really nice would be to score an extra goal and try to win this. That would be lovely. Thompson there missed an opportunity because Asapo's song was gearing up to 
Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Yeah, Sapo, I was saying that Sapo Song was going up to make a run of a goal and he didn't pass in time. Anyway, these guys here, the cuts were good, but they were in, in the wrong direction. And then Luke decided to have a one on one rush forward, but left goal completely abandoned with no defenders in sight to cover him. That was a poor, poor decision. Right, cross into the box. Come on, guys. Just let's just do this. Thompson, don't spend too much time on the ball. Thank you. Okay, should have passed to the sapple, the sapple song in that case. Oh, offside. Okay. Oh. Okay, we're giving an advantage here. Sapple song had nothing. What's wrong with him? Why didn't he just pick up that ball? Went right by him. He needs to be careful because Pope can take his place if he doesn't want to score goals. Oh, oh gosh, oh. he needs to catch the ball in that circumstance. Just completely left. I might have to rethink give, giving him time. I don't know. To be fair, he's not like Kim and Kami are pretty much. They both have their advantages and dis disadvantages, but pretty much overall sort of same, really. Sapa Osong was on a bit of a roll in terms of goal scoring before he had his injury. So I'm going to have to look at his stats to see if his injury, if his attributes are being affected at all by the injury. I'm not sure if they did. Let's have a quick look at that and then we'll call it a day. So if you can find him on here. Uh, attributes. Uh, progress. Attributes. The last six months. No? Doesn't, doesn't seem so too. Okay. So I'm not really sure. Okay, you're probably just trying to get his fitness back up. That, that's probably what it is. We're going to leave it there. And thanks so much for watching until the end. And thanks so much for bearing as well with my snotty uh, little voice. My banged up vocal cords and everything. Um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Leave it a like and subscribe. And you can also check out the Patreon where I sometimes post a few spoilers if you like spoilers. Uh, check out all the links as well in the description. You can find lots of different things there. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.